What's up there, YouTube? All right, so I don't know how long this video is gonna be because I always say it's gonna be short and it ends up being long. So, this is gonna be kind of a recap for the Saturday live stream. It was more of a YouTuber suggestion type of thing, if I could do one during the daytime, if I could do a load test, and if the Mrs. Average Joe could be there. And if you missed it, oh man, it was great. It was awesome, actually. We were pulling about 80 amps there towards the end. I got a hair in my mouth or something. Anyway, I have some some notes here I'll run through real quick. Basically the cliff notes or the short version of the live stream that you guys all missed or a lot of people were there. The voltage started at roughly 58 Point seven volts and then I turned on one of the little heaters that we have down here and it was drawing about 30 amps I let it run for about two hours or so at 30 amps straight and then the voltage went down to about 53.1 Fiber. And then at that two hour mark, I turned on my heat gun and that pulled just under 50 amps. And I let it run like that for about another hour or so. And then the voltage dropped down to 50.27. And then after that, I turned the heat gun on high and we were pulling just under 70 amps. It kind of varied from 68 to 66. So an average of 67 amps and I let it run like that for another hour and a half and by the end of that hour and a half the the amp draw kind of went up to about 80 amps or so I'm not sure exactly when you know it started pulling more because I was just having a freaking blast and at the end of that one and a half hour 60 to 80 amp draw I was getting kind of scared because typically the UPS is supposed to shut off at 42 volts and everybody was screaming at me to shut it off so I shut it off at about four 40.31 volts and pack 14 like it literally dropped off the batrium scope well, I mean, it was still reading up in the corner, but it didn't show it on the graph anymore, but its voltage was at like 2.42 volts. It was ridiculous. I really thought I was popping fuses or something because it dropped off a lot faster than the others. And I got 10.48 kilowatts out of the power rack, which I think is pretty sweet. Anyway, if you want to go back and watch it, I'll link that video down below. I will warn you that the live stream lasted for like five and a half hours. I don't know. It was a great time. It actually flew by for me because, I don't know, I was just having such a good time. We did have a couple internet issues. Um, at first, I was starting off on the laptop and I was doing it wireless for some reason. I'm not sure. And then everybody kept saying they were buffering a lot. So then I came over here and grabbed the LAN cord out of my computer, plugged it in, and it seemed to help a little bit. And then, I mean, you know, I know some computer things. I don't know all the computer things, but somebody made the suggestion, or at least a few people did, said, if I still have the wireless on, make sure to turn it off, even though we were plugged in with the Ethernet cord. Well, as soon as I did that, holy crap, I don't think we had any more streaming problems after after that. What I really need to do is just upgrade the internet, but I'm still cheap right now. All right, so the real reason of this video is I am gonna pull out pack 14 and take a look. I mean, I don't know if there's any popped fuses or broken fuses or what the issue is. I know other people have had problems with their pack one or their very last pack in their entire system. This one, pack 14, is actually the second to last on the negative side of the whole string so that's just how it sits inside the the server rack and that's how I kind of got used to seeing it before I did the batrium and all that stuff so I wanted to keep the the order in the graph you know basically how I'm used to seeing it and or it's a little easier to point out packs basically pack 13 is technically my most negative pack all right, so we will run over there to the power rack real quick. We'll take a look at the Batrium, and then I'm going to pull out pack 14 and take a look. All right, here we are over at the power rack looking at the Batrium. It is a few days later, and we did get quite a bit of sun after the live stream, and we did get just a little bit of sun slash cloud for the last two days, so we were able to get up to 57 volts. Uh, lowest pack right now is 4.07, and and the highest pack is 4.08. We're back up to 89% state of charge and the capacity 
is at 201 amp hours. But the real reason we're over here is, well, pack 14 fell off the map pretty much. It got below 2.5 volts. And right now it's at 4.08, which is good, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. So we are going to pull this pack out and take a look at all the fuses to make sure none are broken or popped and then go from there. Nothing. I didn't, there's no broken fuses whatsoever. But I mean, I did find one fuse that's a little kind of darker in the middle. Um, I could show you that real quick and I might replace the fuse on that one just in case. I might pull that one single cell out and do a capacity check on it and check it out. Other than that, I don't know. I guess there's some weaker cells in this pack. I'll show you which ones I think are the weakest, which actually goes along with the fuse that's a little darker on the center side. So let me show you what I got here real quick and then yeah. Boom! All right, so there you go. There's the fuse in question there. It's a little darker in the center. Uh, this is one of those Fukushima green cells, I believe, but I guess I won't know until I actually pull it out. Yeah, that is the fuse in question, and if you look right in the center there, you can see how it's kind of burnt on the center. So I will probably pull this cell out and I guess run it through the old capacity checker and see what we got. All right. Well, yeah, I don't really know what else could be wrong unless there's just more, I guess, some bad cells or just cells that are on their way out. I'm gonna say it's probably more of those Fukushima green cells because I just haven't had very good luck with those. So I might end up pulling all of those out and retesting those and then go from there. Now, if I only had a way to capacity check this entire pack, and yeah, so that is my update on the packs. I will continue checking them out, and if I come across something interesting, I will let you know. Oh crap, and it's 424, I gotta go. I'll see you guys on the next one. Maybe this is a, a good time to put this on like its own little plug so I can disconnect this from the battery too. Saturday, what day was that? And, uh, uh, I swear, there's a hair there. I can feel it. And, 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 for, I should, and, but you can, um, to, but, uh, um, uh, but, and then I guess we'll see what, um, uh, I don't know. And I'll, and I guess see, and to the 